Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Andrews, a public health biologist with the Vector-Borne Disease Section at the California Department of Public Health. Today, I'll be talking about where you might encounter the Western black leg tick, Ixodes pacificus. I'll show you how we collect an immature life stage of the tick, also known as a nymph, which can transmit the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. And most importantly, I'll demonstrate how you can avoid tick bites while enjoying the outdoors. During the winter and spring months, adult Western black leg ticks are often found on the tips of tall grasses, especially along the edges of hiking trails in many parts of California. But there are other areas where these ticks may be lurking. In the Sierra foothills, nymphs are more often collected on rocks, logs, and tree trunks than on the grass on the sides of the trail. And this is important because these areas are perfect places to stop and take a rest. And also perfect places for nymphs to crawl up onto you and take a bite. This is my tick flag. I use it to collect ticks by dragging it across surfaces in the environment where ticks may be waiting to grab onto an animal so they can feed. The white fabric makes it easier to see any ticks that might have grabbed onto the flag. Nymphs are very small and can be difficult to see, so I have to check the flag carefully. You can see the size of the nymph in comparison to my hand. They're tiny. When nymphs are found, they are collected, identified to species, and sent to our laboratory to be tested for tick-borne pathogens, such as Borrelia burgdorferi, which are a type of bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Collecting and testing these ticks allows us to determine how commonly Western black leg nymphs are infected and helps us inform the public about Lyme disease risks. The Vector-Borne Disease Section has been conducting studies for several years on where and when Western black leg nymphal ticks are found in the northern Sierra Nevada foothills. Nymph activity begins to increase in February at elevations around 500 feet and can continue into June or even as late as August at elevations up to 4,000 feet. Our studies have shown that up to half of the rocks and logs in an area may have nymphs on them during peak activity months, which are typically April and May. So when you're outside, it's important that you take protective measures to keep ticks off of you. The first that we recommend is that you wear light colored clothing. You can see I have on a white shirt and light gray pants. The second is that you apply an EPA registered repellent like DEET to your clothing and exposed skin. We also recommend that you are constantly checking yourself for ticks as you walk along the trails. Kind of keep an eye on your pants, you know, check behind you, make sure you don't have any grabbing onto you. And finally, when you get home, you can put your clothes into the dryer on the hot temperature cycle and kill any hitchhiking ticks. Thanks for watching. And remember that nymphal ticks can be tiny, and you might not always see them if you stop to take a break on a rock or log, so be sure to wear repellent when you're enjoying the outdoors. Thank you.